Why are bees important? And how you can help them bees are essential to our planet, regardless of their size. They might be as little as your thumbnail or vividly striped, fluffy, or both. They're in serious trouble too. The bee population in the United Kingdom is drastically decreasing due to factors such as habitat loss, pollution, and climate change. These microscopic insects are essential to our ecology, but if their population declines, there may be grave consequences for both the environment and human health. Why do bees matter? Without bees, we merely could not survive. Not only do they make us feel better when we see them in our gardens and woodlands, but they are also very important to both the environment's overall health and our own physical well-being. Food crops are pollinated by bees. A large number of arable crops in the UK benefit from bee pollination. Although there are alternative ways to pollinate, such as by wind and other animals, wild bees have a far greater and more effective capacity for pollination. According to estimates, physically pollinating crops would cost UK farmers an astounding $1.8 billion annually. Bees provide cattle with food. A large number of crops used as animal feed are pollinated by bees. It would be more difficult to produce a large amount of our dairy, meat, and eggs without them. Bees sustain the ecology. Without bees, our ecology would quickly collapse along with thousands of other insect species that live in the UK. Our wild trees and flowers are pollinated by bees, which benefits other insects that provide food and shelter to birds, bats, mammals, and other organisms further up the food chain. Why are bees going extinct? In the UK, bees are under a lot of threat, some of which also affect our woods and trees. Loss of habitat bee habitat is being destroyed or paved over, resulting in the loss of woods, trees, grasslands, and even gardens as development grows. Bees are struggling as a result of the increased use of intensive farming techniques. Since the 1930s, a startling 97% of wildflower meadows have disappeared, depleting a crucial source of food for bees. Since many of the surviving plants have been doused with pesticides and herbicides, bees are either losing more food or risking self-poisoning by consuming what is left. Changes in climate because of the disruptions to bee nesting behavior and the alteration of regular seasonal timings caused by climate change and its associated extreme weather. Flowers may blossom earlier or later than anticipated. While increasing the number of trees planted can assist to lessen the consequences of climate change, it is still a major problem that could endanger the lives of many of our bees. Diseases and parasites, five viruses that are known to infect honeybees have been linked to disease in our native bumblebee population, according to research. Whether these are also circulating in populations of solitary bees is unknown at this time. Species that are invasive, certain alien species can seriously harm our indigenous species. Because it feeds on both solitary and bumblebees, the Asian hornet, Vespa velutina nigrothorax, has had a disastrous effect on wild bee populations in France. In the event that it spreads to the UK, our bees may be in grave danger. Bees that produce honey, sadly, the rise in beekeeping popularity hasn't been good for the bees in the United Kingdom. The Varroa mite, a parasite that feeds on honeybees, arrived on our shores in the 1990s as a result of the international shipment of managed honeybees. Our wild honeybee population was nearly wiped off as the mite spread to them and other diseases increased. True wild honeybees are becoming extremely scarce, and our bumblebee population is also in danger due to the Varroa mite. Our native bees may suffer if honeybee farms outcompete them for food. A solitary hive may sustain 30,000-40,000 honeybees during the summer, and as the number of individual bees in an area increases, so does the competition for nectar. Cities like London are particularly affected by this issue. According to research published in the State of the World's Plants and Fungi publication by the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, the number of urban beekeepers has increased to unsustainable levels, endangering other BSP. In the UK, how many bees are native? In the UK, there are around 250 native species of bees. Of these, 24 belong to the genus Bombus and are bumblebees. The remaining bees are all solitary species, such as mining and mason bees. While solitary bees live and nest alone, bumblebees build their nests in colonies. In the UK, there is only one species of honeybee, the European honeybee. These are not natural to our coasts. Rather, they are farmed bees brought here by beekeepers. Sadly, 
finding a truly wild honeybee hive has become extremely rare. How to assist the bees give up using insecticides. Once you stop using pesticides in your garden, bees and other wildlife will benefit greatly. The best course of action to preserve bees is to allow pests to be managed naturally, as some of them serve as food for important pollinators, birds, and other animals. Give refuge bees, like the majority of invertebrates, require a place to nest and hibernate. A pre-built bee hotel can be purchased or made yourself. Simply hang it in a protected, sunny area and observe the bees as they fill the tubes throughout the spring and summer. Recall that maintaining the cleanliness of your bee hotel is crucial in order to avoid the accumulation of mold and pests. In October, take down your bee hotel for some maintenance. Then reinstall it in late March or early April. Grow flowers that attract bees. Nectar-rich, bee-friendly flower planting is one of the simplest methods to support bees. If you have a garden, dedicate a section of it. Even a lone window box or pot on a balcony can make a huge difference. Many flowering plants are preferred by bees, such as red clover, foxglove, and bird's foot trefoil. Use our specially designed seed ball mix to attract bees and plant them with ease. You can sprinkle them and watch them grow without having to be very skilled at gardening. Thanks for watching.